What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to How Do You Fix It? this video I'm going to talk about replacing a battery on a MacBook Pro now a lot of people actually own MacBook Pros and to be honest they don't really need them um, it's a great computer uh, it does offer a lot of performance uh, but it's not for everybody um, most people that I know that actually own one use them for schoolwork or maybe making spreadsheets at work uh, maybe editing a video every now and then uh, but nothing fancy, nothing professional uh, about what they do on their computer. But still, they have them, and they actually long, they last, actually last a really long time. Uh, in my case, I have here a uh, 2010 uh, MacBook Pro, 13 inch. Uh, this only had one owner uh, ever since it was purchased uh, back in December of 2010. Um, that owner passed it on to me because she doesn't need it anymore. So now it's my computer, yay me. Uh, but it does have a problem with the battery. Last year, I replaced the battery on it and it worked for a little bit, but it was actually a really bad replacement. Uh, it was probably a faulty battery that only had like six months warranty. Uh, so never again. Uh, I actually went up to Amazon and I found another battery uh, from a seller that I've actually used before for other components, other parts. Um, so I bought uh, you know the battery from them and I've never had any issues so far. So fingers crossed that this one works. Uh, in case you're interested, I'm gonna drop a link uh, down below um, on the uh, video description. So that way uh, you can check it out and buy it if you, if you need it. Uh, really, really cool thing about it, it actually includes the uh, screwdrivers that you need to get into the computer to open up the case and the uh, tri-wing uh, screw, uh, screwdriver that you need to remove the actual battery. Now, uh, I've been doing this a long time. I don't really trust these, you know, cheap uh, screwdrivers that may or may not damage your uh, computer's uh, internals or the screws. So I did, uh, I did use uh, the uh, Simus uh, screwdriver kit from Amazon. Uh, it's kind of a no brand name kind of thing. I've never seen them uh, doing anything else or making anything else. Uh, actually, when you search Amazon for CYMAS, this is the only thing that's going to come up under that name. At least, you know, the only thing that I've seen. Uh, but it actually includes a lot of different uh, screwdriver heads, so you can uh, easily change them. And it seems to be pretty well made. Uh, I've been using it for about three years now. Uh, I've never had any issues with it, and even though I own a ton of uh, screwdriver sets, uh, this is my go-to one, this is the best one uh, that I own, um, and it's kind of cheap. I mean, you can get it for 20 bucks, and honestly, for this kind of work, you don't need a fancy set. Um, I do have expensive sets that I bought before, even from name brands like Craftsman, uh, but, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really do you any good to spend a lot of money uh, on these because this one is like 20 bucks you can even get it on sale every now and then uh, and it works it has everything you need and it actually uh, it's very reliable uh, one thing that I do like about it is that it comes with uh, an extendable uh, tip so for hard, hard to reach uh, places this is the, the screwdriver to use and it also comes with uh, a little flex head that you can use to, same as before, just reach, uh, you know, harder uh, screws. Uh, you can twist it around. So this is a really cool feature uh, in case you do need it. Uh, for Apple computers, you won't really need that. Uh, but for other computers or maybe, you know, at home repairs, DIY things, you may, you may want to have that functionality. Uh, and it also comes with a plastic uh, guitar pick looking thing. Uh, this is really useful for disconnecting uh, uh, ports and cables inside of computers. You don't want to apply pressure to those because they might break. Uh, so you can use either your fingernails or one of these. It actually works. Uh, it's really cool, uh, really cool to have. 
and it does help with uh, removing and disconnecting uh, ports for batteries and hard drives and so on and so forth. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the computer and I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the battery and uh, replace it with a new one. All right guys, so to be able to get into the MacBook Pro, all you have to do is remove these 10 uh, Phillips screws from the casing. Uh, you do need to be careful though, because these three in the upper right corner, those are actually longer uh, than the others. So you will see a huge difference on the size of the screw itself. Uh, but unless you're keeping track of them, you might forget where those actually go and damage something in the logic board or some other internal component on the, on the uh, computer. So do you keep in mind that these three are actually longer all the others are exactly the same size so you can keep those together and then just you know make a mental note uh, or come back to this video and look at these three because they are actually a lot longer so uh, let's go ahead and get right into it and let's remove these screws the casing all you have to do is with your fingers just pull it from here from this little vent and just get it out of the way and this is the inside of your MacBook Pro now it might look scary uh, you might see a lot going on but basically it's all very simple uh, once you know what you're doing um, you'll be comfortable enough to go into it and change things and do upgrades everything you need to do um, the thing we're going to be focusing on is the battery. So this uh, black piece down here, this is um, what we're going to be removing. Now to get rid of it, really important before you do anything else, you do have to disconnect it from here. Now to do that, uh, you do have to pull the, uh, the cable straight up uh, to avoid damaging any, any pins inside of it, inside of the connector. So you can do that with your fingernail. You can just go ahead and pry it up gently and once it's out all you have to do is put it aside like so uh, and that's it the battery is disconnected uh, next we do need to remove two tri-wing screws that are actually holding it into place so one of the screws is right here and the other one is right here next to the connector. So let's go ahead and remove those two. You can use a Tri-Wing 2.0. Uh, just remove it like so. Put this one aside. This is the one on the right. And this one here. This is the one on the left. This is actually a lot shorter, so you do need to keep track of those. Uh, let me put it over here and now all you need to do is pull up this plastic tab right here just pull it up gently might get stuck on this little um, this little sticker here so let me pull it up and it's out this is your battery this is your MacBook Pro's battery uh, they do go bad uh, really easily, so I'm going to be sharing some tips on how to make them last longer. Uh, now, let's just put this aside. Um, and let's take out the new one. Let me take out the packaging here real quick. And this is our new battery. If it does have any kind of prote uh, protective film on top of it, uh, you do want to remove that don't want to risk any overheating issues anything like that uh, always inspect your battery make sure that everything makes sense that everything looks good uh, this one uh, seems to be actually a high quality replacement it's not quite OEM because Apple is actually not making them anymore neither are Apple's manufacturers 
so this one is uh, seems to be sturdy enough so let's just put it back in uh, really important you do need to make sure that these two uh, metal tabs actually go into these two notches that you see down here so you do have to align those you align that there just press it down gently make sure that it sits flush on the computer you don't want to uh, see the battery sticking out or anything and up next you do have to replace the tri-wing screws so let's put this one in here next to the connector the long one goes uh, next to the battery connector and the shorter screw it's right here this one go this one goes here on the other side of the battery you do want to align it once it falls um, let me try that again there we go once it falls into place there you go let's go ahead and screw that in all right so we have that there just double check the one on the port is actually Titan and everything looks good now next step is to reconnect the battery so you can do that uh, you may need to twist the cable a little bit you don't want to apply too much pressure because it might break the cables so once you align it with the port just push it down make sure it clicks make sure that everything is in place uh, so far so good everything looks good so now it's time to replace the bottom casing so we do need to switch out back to the Phillips head screw and keep in mind that the three screws in the upper right are longer so we can put those in first uh, in this case you don't really have to worry about tightening the uh, screws in any special sequence um you don't want to over tighten anything so as soon as you feel that it's uh, that it you know touches the the casing that the the screw head actually touches the casing uh you don't want to apply pressure uh it's 10 screws so the casing is not going anywhere you don't have to over tighten it uh you don't really have to apply too much pressure to the uh screwdriver either so just Put all of these back on. And there you have it. Just double check that everything sits flush. Make sure that everything makes sense. Everything looks good in here. The casing is not moving anywhere. So, next step is to actually test the battery. So you flip over your computer and let's see if it actually turns on. So press the home, the uh, power button. And we have power. There we go. And that is how you replace a battery on a MacBook Pro 2010. Like I said before, uh, the same process goes for the 2009, 10, 11, and 12 models. Uh, both 13, 15 inch uh, uh, models. The 17 inch was a little bit different, uh, just a little difference on the layout of the uh, screws, but it's basically the same process. So all you really have to do is follow this video uh, and just, you know, go through the steps. It's, it's the same process, just remove the casing, unscrew the battery, disconnect it, pull it out, that's it, you're done. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it, you guys are done. Uh, like I said, it takes less than 10 minutes and it's something that anyone can do uh, as long as you have the right uh, tools and the right equipment, the right battery and so forth, uh, you'll be able to do this uh, fairly quickly. So uh, let's just go back and talk about how to make your battery last longer. So like I mentioned, uh, Apple is not really making these batteries anymore neither are their providers like their manufacturers like foxconn and those companies so finding a real true oem battery for a 2010 macbook pro is impossible simply as that they're not making them anymore so if you do find a real oem uh, battery it's probably like seven years old so you don't want to buy that you do want to get a newer battery 
Now, these replacement batteries, like the one I linked below, and the ones you can find on eBay and other online retailers, uh, those are okay. I mean, they're not great, but they'll uh, get the job done. Uh, you do want to find one that has a full year warranty. Uh, so that way, if anything goes wrong, you can just get it replaced. Um, really important to make it last before you start using it. You do have to charge it to 100%. Leave it charging for a little bit more so it calibrates. Uh, once you leave it for about two extra hours after it hits 100%, uh, you can just go ahead and start using the computer. Uh, just, you know, do stuff on it, watch videos, uh, do any kind of work you have to do until it drains. Make sure the battery drains all the way. So once the computer goes to sleep, you do want to charge it again, but you want to uh, wait uh, a couple of hours um, make sure that it goes to it goes to sleep all the way uh, and then wait for about five or six hours and then recharge it and keep charging it all the way through preferably through the night uh, that will help recalibrate the battery now I know a lot of people think that this doesn't make sense and it doesn't do any difference and you might be right I've never had issues with batteries uh, before like lithium batteries uh, but these replacements that are kind of cheaply made, uh, you do want to be careful with them. They might not calibrate properly and you might end up having issues with the computer not recognizing the battery or not um, you know, charging or lasting as long as it should. So just in case, just let it calibrate. Remember, just charge it to 100%, leave it for about two hours, start using it again, let it go to sleep, wait five or six hours and then recharge it and hopefully that, that'll help, you know, the battery last longer. Uh, really important, you do want to uh, charge the battery every so often, but you don't want to charge it all the time. If you keep it plugged in, or if you charge it as soon as it hits like 70% or 60%, you're actually robbing the battery from a, from a cycle. Uh, so lithium batteries, though they do have certain life cycles, like charge cycles, uh, every time you disconnect the battery and reconnect it, it doesn't matter what, what percentage it is, that actually counts as a full cycle. So the good thing about lithium batteries is that they work until they don't. So you will not really see like uh, shorter uh, battery life or shorter uh, you know, cycles when charging and that kind of thing, unless the battery is defective. So if there is a defect on the battery and you notice that, you do have to replace the battery right away. Uh, but normally, with normal wear and tear, when you use it every day, every week, uh, they will just start, you know, they will continue working. Uh, you may notice uh, decreased performance, um, like battery life or performance on the computer, but that happens when it's actually time to replace the battery. So you do want to be, you know, keep an eye out for that. You want to be careful with it because walking around with a, a defective battery could bring other issues, other implications. Uh, but all in all, uh, you don't have to worry about it. They might last uh, a really long time. And the good thing is it's 40 bucks. So if it breaks, it's better to get a new one for 40 bucks than having to buy a new computer for $2,000. Uh, if you want a new computer, by all means, go ahead, jump on it, be happy. But most of us don't really have that luxury. Uh, so. Uh, Replacing the battery uh, might help you squeeze out some more life out of your investment and just keep using your computer for when most people use them, you'll be fine. I mean, you don't really have uh, to buy the, the greatest, the newest uh, MacBook Pro. Uh, you can keep using, using the one you have. Um, really important note, 2013 models uh, and newer, the ones that have the Retina display and don't have a CD drive, those are actually harder to fix. There's a, a huge difference inside of them. So if I can get a, a hold of one of those, I will make a video to show you how to replace those batteries. But 2009, 10, 11, and 12, they are pretty much the same uh, all in all. Some of them have more screws. Some of them have a different layout, but the process is the same. All you have to do is remove the casing, uh, remove the battery. It could be two screws. It could be uh, five. It could be three. Uh, just make sure you remove all of them, pull out the battery, and that's it. You don't have to worry about removing any other components. 
Uh, now, MacBook Airs, MacBooks, um, those are a completely different beast. So I will cover them uh, in the future. But at least MacBook Pros, remember 2009, 10, 11, and 12, they are pretty much uh, the same process. They're all the same. So you do want to uh, buy the correct battery for those. You do want to have the right tools for it. So I linked uh, the, uh, the screwdrivers I showed you before. They're linked in the uh, description. And that will pretty much help you get your uh, computer back up and running. And that is it guys. Like I showed you, like I told you before, it's really easy to do. It's something you can do yourself. Even if you don't know how, you can do it in 10 minutes. The first time I actually did it, uh, I actually replaced a battery in a MacBook Pro. It was a 15 inch uh, 2011 model. And it took me like five minutes because it's, it's, really, it's really easy. Uh, you don't have to overthink it. You do have to be careful with the internals. Uh, depending on where you live, you might want to use one of those anti-static uh, uh, wrist, uh, wristbands. Uh, in my case, I live in Florida, so it's like super warm, super uh, humid down here. So there's really no static. Uh, at least not in my case. I've been doing this way too long now. Uh, I never had any issues with static, but you do want to be careful with that because it might break internals uh, on the computer. Uh, and really important before you throw out the battery check out your local and state laws uh, see if there's any kind of regulation to dispose uh, of batteries uh, lithium can actually be um, toxic so you do want to make sure that you dispose of the battery uh, properly never ever ever put it near a heat source uh, like a like a space heater uh, a stove a microwave anything like that because it can't explode and it is actually very dangerous it can actually emit flames or fumes that uh, may harm you so you do want to be careful with lithium batteries and you do want to dispose of them uh, properly just to avoid any any harm to you or your family uh, so that was it really easy process uh, and it can actually help you extend uh, the life of your computer. You don't have to go out and buy a new one. You can just replace the battery on the one you have and keep using it for I don't know how long. This one has been going strong for eight full years now. So I, I don't see it stopping. Uh, maybe upgrade the RAM. I do have some up upgrades that I want to do to it. Uh, but those are further down the road. As soon as I do that, uh, I will show you guys how to do that. Really easy process as well. So I do want to make a video on it and show you how you can how you can get more performance out of your aging computer. Uh, so if you have any questions about the process, if you want to know more about how to you know work around these kind of issues uh, with batteries on on MacBooks or MacBook Pros, uh, make sure you uh, drop a comment. Make sure to click that like button. Also, if this is something that interests you and you just want to learn more, make sure you subscribe and uh, click on the bell. So that way you will never miss uh, one of my new videos and you can learn how to get uh, things done, how to fix things yourself. Uh, so like I said, if you have any questions, if you have anything to add, make sure uh, to post a comment and uh, just click that subscribe button. Tell your friends about the uh, channel uh, because my goal is to help you guys uh, fix things and actually be able to, you know, work around these kind of issues without spending a lot of money and time on them. So until next time, I'll see you around.